Hey, this is Mike. Got in a 2015, one of our first 2015 trucks. Now, this is a work truck. It's a Ram 15, uh, Ram 2500, 2015. And it's kind of, you know, more basic, but it does have the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. It's a heavy duty truck. It's got the side steps on it already. Clearance lights. Let's check out the front here. Chrome bumper, chrome grill. And here's the key. I'm going to unlock it. Unlocking it unlocks the doors as well as the tailgate. Now here's on the passenger side. I've got the nice big pocket there no real changes that I've seen from the 14 to the 15 but uh, see that for yourself real nice um, the seats here the, the fabric is super high quality I've seen trucks um, you know where they come in and with a lot of miles and they have um, the seats are not torn or anything even if they might get stained or something uh, the seats hold up seem to hold up very well so you got the rubber floor mats with the ram head on it that's pretty cool You've got a storage pocket here glove compartment I'm gonna go over that more when I get over in the driver's seat I just want to give you this vantage point So you got your stuff there. There's the inside of the back door. You got your pocket there. Big speaker. Here's the back seat. This lifts up and you got your storage pocket. And there's your adapter. For your trailer hitch it comes with an adapter because it's a larger size trailer hitch and if you're trying to put a smaller one in there you can still do it with the adapter but the heavy duty trucks are like that i don't remember the exact dimensions but i'm sure if you're familiar with hauling trailers you probably know what i'm talking about and under here is your storage pocket or a storage bin kind of looks like a little waste basket and it fits down in here so you can put stuff in there. Some people put ice and drinks in there. Some people use it for trash. Um, anything you want. And I really like these real thick uh, slush mats that they have in these Ram trucks. Go all the way across the back. And I like the way they have the r rugged look with like bolts. Here and then you got the Ram symbol there. And you got some diamond plating there. There's your cup holders. These do they have the latch system for car seats back here and one thing i want to mention that um here's the place where you hang up clothes you can't really hang a whole lot of clothes there or hang up stuff if you're, you're actually traveling and you want to hang a bunch of clothes um, for one thing if you hang clothes there it limits your view out the back glass which this one has a back camp backup camera of course it's got side mirrors and all that stuff but you know something that um kind of interesting on these trucks some people some of the other trucks have the hooks on the side and then they can put a bar across and hang their clothes across but this one doesn't really have that capability look at the size of that exhaust pipe I guess with that huge Cummins turbo diesel engine you need plenty of airflow you do have the backup parking sensors back here. The backup camera lens is here. This is a 4x4 truck as it says right there. This one's got the plastic uh, bed liner. Which is good. But I would prefer the, um, you know, if you're looking at a new truck, I would consider, or at least look into the spray-in bed liner because you can get that from the factory. But it all depends on what your, your needs are. And back here, this is where your fuel goes in. It is a capless design. 
but also oh, this comes from the factory once once you start using the truck you throw that away this right here is where your DEF goes so you can add your DEF fluid right there you don't have to lift the hood like some other vehicles and put it in underneath the hood especially on a big tall vehicle like this it will be a little awkward same thing on this side you know you can access the the storage underneath the seat it does have the bin in this in the floor here and here's the side mirrors now they are the trailer tow mirrors so just push like so and you've got it um, mirror that sticks out a little bit further and it's a, a vertical angle instead of horizontal so you can kind of get a more of a view up and down with whatever you're towing of course it folds either way like that inside the driver's door is basically the same except for it has the door locks windows and side mirror controls and this one has the manual adjusted seats it does have automatic headlights though heated side mirrors I'm gonna go and hop in Key's pretty basic. It does have the keyless entry. And go ahead and start it up. Now when it's warm out, you don't have to worry about letting the glow plugs warm up. You can just start it right up. Turn the music off, turn the fan down. Here's your gauges. You got your DEF fluid gauge there, your diesel fluid, your diesel fuel gauge there. It says it's 104 degrees. It's not 104 degrees. I'm, I'm assuming that the the temperature probe, wherever it is, is direct in the direct sunlight right now. It's kind of warming it up. Once you get driving, it'll it'll go to normal. But um, it's more like 80 degrees today. You got your digital speedometer there. Now the steering wheel. Uh, this one is like a synthetic material. Some of them have leather wrapping. This one is just kind of synthetic material. Now it is kind of soft. It's not like it has a little bit of a give to it, so it can be more comfortable and not fatigue your hands on long trips. It's got the cool three-dimensional RAM going on there. You have your cruise control on this side, and this one does not have the volume on the back of the steering wheel. This is more of a basic truck. You do have your controls here for this menu system. So I'm going to kind of scroll through that. Let's go back out of there and then scroll down. I can get some basic info there. There's the turbo boost. That's cool. Temperatures and pressures. Pressure in the tires. What's interesting is a 2015 truck. And look at the look at the graphics. I know it's you know it's kind of a work truck or whatever, but um, that's 80s graphics. It was it looks like like in an arcade game or something from the 80s. Pretty pretty funny. All right, let's scroll down here. But yeah, basically I'm gonna go back out of that. Fuel economy, of course, it only has 22 miles on it, so the, I'm not gonna really get an accurate reading on that. Your trips trailer tow you go into that and you can um, you can adjust your gain on the trailer brake control and I'll go back in the speedometer because that's kind of the default default view there see it's got the tilt steering there column shifter and then it's got the up and down shift there it's more of a suggestion you're not you're not going to be able to just kind of scroll through the gears at will it will limit you at some capacity to keep you from messing up anything now as a real basic radio let's turn that on it does have satellite radio though so you got your radio satellite AM FM and uh, no media available and I'll show you what this is talking about as far as media in a second that's uh, actually a 
auxiliary inputs. You got your presets down there. You can adjust your audio. There's a little bit of a menu for adjusting stuff. Just a basic radio. Volume. Tune. Scroll through different things. Uh, same thing with the climate control. Real basic. You just got the fan, the temperature, and where you want the air to blow. There's your trailer brake control there. Your, your plus and minus and all that good stuff. It does have the tow and haul button. And traction control is here. Now this button is your exhaust brakes. Some people call them jake brakes. You want to use that if you're going downhill or something and you don't want to use your regular brakes as much. You use the engine compression. Your in, the, the, it's hard to explain the, the, uh, the back pressure from the engine, the exhaust, to use that to slow the vehicle down. So um, that's where your, your exhaust brakes there. Parking sensors, you can turn those off uh, just in case you don't want to hear the beeping. Like, um, like I'll show you. I'll go ahead and put it in reverse. And since there's a vehicle right behind me, here's the backup camera. It's beeping at me. And right there, you can see the 80s graphics there. And it's telling me, hey, there's a vehicle right behind you. And if I look out the back glass, you can see there's a vehicle right there. So, it's lots of indicators. Backup camera is really useful. See, I could turn, it, turn off that beeping like that. It turns off. Now, looking at the backup camera, hopefully you can see it. Um, you can back right up to a trailer really easy because you can see right down to the bumper. And you can back right up to whatever you need to back up to and you know, avoid hitting stuff as well. So I'm going to turn the parking sensors back on. And then put it in drive. And park. But anyway, that's what the parking sensor is for. Like if you know you're going to get close to something or if you know, you're pulling a trailer or whatever, you don't want to hear that beeping sound every time you put it in reverse, you can turn that off. There's your four-wheel drive control. It is a just a regular old shifter. And um, so that way you can put it in four-wheel drive. This one does not have an electric shifter or anything like that. So like some of the 1500s. You got a bunch of cup holders and pockets everywhere. More cup holders up here. And this is kind of like a big storage compartment, but it also has your USB input and auxiliary inputs for your radio. So like say you can take a flash drive, plug it in there with a bunch of songs on it and play music off the flash drive. You can also take a, a portable like MP3 player or iPod or phone and plug it into that auxiliary input and play music off of it as well. And then of course you can charge stuff there. This whole thing lifts up in case you need a small center passenger. So this truck will seat six. You've got an auto dim rear view mirror. Like if somebody gets behind you and they got high beam lights on, it'll dim for you. Um, the visors do not have, this one doesn't have any mirrors in it. That one does, no lights though. All right, let's look underneath the hood. Six point seven liter turbo diesel Cummins. I'm not sure what that does, but uh, you've got two batteries. All right, if you have any questions, uh, my name is Mike. My phone number and email address will be in the description. And uh, there's probably a lot of stuff I didn't cover in this video, so if you have anything to add to kind of help everybody out as far as information-wise, uh, just leave it in the comments. Um, that way everybody can benefit from the information. See you next time.